So in this video, I wanna go over what we call our vision track system on the corner post of an S700 combine. Uh, as is commonly known, you've got a lot of your machine information here, RPM, ground speed, fuel depth, that sort of thing, but not everyone fully understands what's going on a little bit below. So just talking through that, first and foremost, you can see our header height display here along with this little green mark. And the green marks where our preset is height wise. So right now I'm on preset number one, which is right here. If I were to click number two on my hydro handle, I've got a hydroflex head on, so we're gonna get right down to the ground with that preset that you see number two there. It's also gonna show my cutter bar pressure on this RDF head. If you're running more of the automatic controls, like your real automatic real position, uh, tilt, angle, that sort of thing, you'll see some of that information here too. If I lift the header up manually, you'll see with this icon, if I tilt that header side to side, how that icon changes. So that can be a good way to help us find level if we need to as well. But if I wanna set those one, two, and three, Number one, used for our headland control. If I wanna get number two, that on a good middle position, set my reel exactly where I want, maybe my feeder house face plate. All I have to do from here is push and hold number two. And you'll see it blinked and then it saved. So now we're gonna come right back to this position. If we click one and go back to two, it'll go right back to that position we just saved. If we wanna get really advanced, we've got one for our headlands, we've got two for normal running, and then three for any special circumstances. So what I like to do, if you go into your header menu and under auto control, so you've got a lot of settings that we can set up to be saved automatically into our one, two, and three preset. So whether it's our auto reel speed, our feeder house face plate, our reel position, uh, hydroflex pressure, whatever the case, we can turn all those on or off at our preference. But one cool way to use this is if I'm running through the field with number two set normally, and then say I'm going through a draw and I don't wanna change all my float and reel and all those things all at the same time to have to slow down that much more. So if I say roll the header back, put that reel down, we'll move it back a little bit. If I wanna save that, push and hold number three. Now you see that blinking has stopped. Now I can go back and forth. So if I hit number two, see it goes back to number two, different hydroflex pressure, different reel position. And then number three, my reel goes down, my header leans back a little bit. My hydroflex pressure can change between those as well. So makes it really easy and comfortable as an operator to set those up. And you can even change those on the fly in the field too if you tweak a setting here or there. Just remember to push and hold number two or push and hold number three to save that so that you can come back to it the next time you get into that tough spot in the field or whatever the case may be. So that's this area. This is all of our header settings and um, readouts on the vision track. Below that, we've got the combine performance. So we've got our loss sensors as well as our tailings. The tailings is very straightforward, just a volume sensor right here on the right side that will fill up. The loss sensors, losses coming off the chaffer will be displayed on this left side. Off the separator will be displayed off the right side. And the total of those two added together will be the middle bar. And that's what we pay attention to when we're setting our loss sensors is that middle bar. So if we go into our harvest settings, you see this loss monitor, there's a performance target here. So if we're about to do a grain loss check on the ground, right in the spot where we know we're gonna check, we'll hit set to current as we're harvesting through that spot. 
we check on the ground and if it's half a bushel per acre that we measure there, whatever this number is, is gonna equate to half a bushel per acre when we're right in the middle of the green on our total loss. So if it's excessive or it's maybe a little, not enough, uh, we wanna be able to run faster, we can change that number, either double it or half it if, if we're getting a full bushel an acre and we wanna be closer to that half, maybe we turn this number down. But that's what we're reading and it's all based on the performance target set within Vision Track. So as always, your baseline should be the actual grain loss out on the ground that you measure, but hit your set to current and that'll make your readouts very consistent with what you've measured out on the ground later on. So that's Vision Track in a nutshell. Remember, you've got all of your header readouts towards the top half of this lower section, and then our loss sensors and tailings towards the bottom. So make sure you're paying attention to those, utilizing those, and especially when you're setting up your presets for one, two, and three on your hydro, uh, paying attention to that can really come in handy.